There's been a lot of talk recently about DFR drone programs for public safety agencies, but what actually is DFR? Let's break it down. DFR stands for Drone First Responder, and it literally means that the drone itself is the first responding entity on an emergency scene. To truly understand the power of DFR programs, we first need to look at traditional public safety drone programs. The traditional method of using drones, or the patrol program method, typically goes like this. A 911 call comes in, an operator takes the information in, and while he or she is talking to the caller, tells a colleague to dispatch the necessary resources. Then, a second person sends out police officers, firefighters, ambulances, or whatever else is needed. They drive to a scene, establish that the scene is safe, and start working on responding to the incident. That period of time can be as short as five or six minutes, or could be as long as 10 or 15. Then, one of the responding officers pulls a drone out of their police cruiser or fire engine, sets it up, and starts flying. This is when the useful data starts coming in from the drone, and it can be 15 minutes or more from when the first 911 call was made. But what if none of the responding officers that day has a drone? Or what if it's in their vehicle, but the pilot who was trained is out sick? What if the pilot and the drone are there, but the drone doesn't work? Now let's look at a DFR response. A 911 call comes in, and while the dispatcher is talking to the caller, a drone team is listening in to see if this call might need a drone response. If it does, a pilot in the 911 center or in another centralized location dispatches a drone from a rooftop directly to the scene without waiting to be asked. All of that other stuff is still happening. Dispatching officers and fire engines and other resources, but the drone is already on its way or in many cases already on scene. Time to get overhead drone images. Two to three minutes. The drone got there first. The drone was the first responder. So why is this a better model than the one officer, one drone model? Well, we already talked about response times, two to three minutes instead of 10 to 15. You don't have to worry about which officer is responding in which vehicle, whether they're trained to fly, whether they have a drone, or whether the drone is working that day. You also don't have to rely on a police officer or a firefighter, whose job is to be a police officer or a firefighter having to worry about also being the pilot, they can focus on the task at hand. You're more likely to have a drone on calls where you need it. It's more likely to be there before you're first in officers, which means you're more likely to have good, actionable intelligence on what's happening before you put human lives in danger. That can lead to a safer outcome for the responding officers and a safer outcome for the suspect. Better access leads to better data. Better data leads to better decision-making and better decision-making leads to better outcomes. That is the genius of a DFR program. To find out more information about drone first responder programs for your agency, go to skyfireconsulting.com.